Despite big changes on defense and offensive line, Louisiana College Wildcats have come into spring practice with a new enthusiasm and excitement about the upcoming season. <laughs> Louisiana College football team is coming off a 6-4 finish in 2014. Gone are assistant coaches Brian Wallace and Clay Matchett. Justin Charles moves into the solo role of defensive coordinator. He'll look to replace several key players lost to graduation, including All-American defensive back Ira Jewett, all-time interception leader Shaq Lewis, and most of the linebacking corps. I feel like we haven't lost anything. We're not rebuilding, we're reloading. I mean, Coach Charles stepping right in. Uh, got me and Rich on both of the corners. Got Cora coming back for Shaq and uh, Trent stepping back in. We're running a 4-2-5, so everything's really fitting in place with the defense. That new defensive scheme will allow the Wildcats to feature more of their speed and athleticism in the defensive backfield. We fell right into it. We feel like coming from the 3-4, stepping into the 4-2-5, putting more DBs on the field and more D-line down was the perfect fit for our defense. On offense, the Wildcats will look to replace four of their five starters on the offensive line, including ASC Lineman of the Year Brandon Porsche. But in the skill positions and at quarterback, the Wildcats should be loaded. Of course, having Easton back for a, for a third year is really key in that you know, he, he knows all of the checks and, and knows the voids and, and uh, coverages where we want to go with the football in the pass game and just, just his level of leadership. Uh, you come out here, you know, do what you got to do, execute your plays, execute your, you know, uh, your plan, and ultimately the goal right now is to beat defense every play. So we keep doing that every day, get better as an offense, and then, you know, take it on to the next fall. Adding to the already deep receiving core is the return of Maurice Cooper, whose speed will complement the already talented group of Shed Davis, Farron Jones, Ladarius Gardner, and Jake Dunbar. I think this spring, uh, got more tempo and uh, we have more like connection with each other, more chemistry than I did last year. Uh, having most of our starting receivers back and just having a whole other year of working with them got a lot closer. Feel good about our backup spot, Lane Landry. He's a year better and doing a lot of good things. Got quality running backs and, and uh, Cooksey and Silve. Despite the number of changes and new faces, the team feels it will make a strong run at a conference championship and a return to the Division Three playoffs. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of uh, enthusiasm. We embrace everything. We embrace competition, and we're looking forward to, to win a conference this year. We're going to get after somebody this year. It'll, it'll be a fun thing to do and a fun thing to watch. The Wildcats will close their spring practices with their annual 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament on April 25th. Here at Wildcats Stadium, I'm Matt Bridges reporting for Wildcats Media.